Number 103. Is the Cl2BB Cl2 molecule polar or nonpolar? Okay. Now, just by looking at it, maybe we can make an estimated guess as to what type of molecule this is, whether it's polar or nonpolar. But in order to really uh, get down to business here is to just take a few seconds and draw the Lewis structure. Now, when they're asking for polarity, whether it's molecular polarity or bond polarity or hybridization or molecular geometry, always take a few seconds and just draw the Lewis structure just so that it's right in front of you and you can look at it and then we'll know for sure what the answer is. So that's what I'm going to do. Now there's tons of videos on this channel just designated to help you draw the Lewis structures. We go step by step. So if you do need more guidance, you could always go back there. But for this one, maybe we can pause the video if you want, draw the Lewis structure, and then see if your answer matches mine. So in this case, since they're giving me like this big, big, uh, you know, molecule here, uh, I'm going to work from left to right. And I, and I noticed that, you know, the, the way that this molecule is written is how it should be on paper, where you have your two boron, that's what B is, you have your two, two boron molecules in the middle, surrounded by the two chlorines on both sides. So I guess we'll do a boron and a boron. Those are your two Bs in, this, in the center. And then on one side, you have a chlorine right, a Cl, and then another one, a Cl. And then on the other boron, you got a chlorine, and you got a chlorine. Now, when you're drawing Lewis structures, it doesn't really matter uh, if you get the bond angles right. That's not the, the main focus of Lewis structures. It's just to get your connections right. So if you put, like, your chlorine and your chlorine on the top, right, chlorine and chlorine on the top, it doesn't really matter. You'll get the same answer at the end. So now let's just start binding. Right, everybody has a single bond. So single, single, single. And keep in mind that this chlorine over here is bound to the boron. We're not going to make another bond from chlorine to chlorine because they're on opposite sides of the uh, molecule here. Each chlorine to get the octet needs six electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And now for boron, keep in mind that boron has three valence electrons. And for this boron, it had one, two, three to make the bond. So there's no extra, so there's no lone pairs. And for this boron, it's the same thing. It used one, two, three electrons to make those single bonds. Boron only has three valence electrons, so no need to draw um, any lone pairs here. So here's your molecule. Is this now polar or nonpolar? Now, when they're asking for a polar or nonpolar molecules, you just got to snap it out. S-N-A-P. It's a cute acronym to just keep in mind that if your molecule is nonpolar, it is 100% symmetrical. There is a line of symmetry. But if your molecule is polar, your molecule is asymmetrical. So when you draw a line of symmetry, there's not two uh, of the same sides on the left or the right side. So my line of symmetry here would be between the two borons, right? This would be right smack in the middle. If I take a line and I try to cut it, would I be completely symmetrical on the left and the right side? Well, yeah, on the left side, we have boron with the two chlorines. And then on the right side, we have boron with the two chlorines. So it looks pretty symmetrical to me. And the borons do not have lone electrons. So we're all good here. This is completely symmetrical. And if it's completely symmetrical, it is a nonpolar molecule. And that is the answer. So Cl2BBCl2 <laughs> is nonpolar. And that is the end. Okie dokie. Okay, we are good here. I hope this helps you out. This has this <laughs> this has to be in the center. Okay. 
Is that just me? I think it's just me. But anyway, um, thank you for viewing the video. I hope this helped you out. Uh, thank you so much for coming to this channel to, you know, get all your chem help and your physics and math help. We love helping you guys out. My brother and I were so appreciative of each and every one of you. you guys have been so kind in the comments and we're just so glad that we can help you out through your, you know, educational journey. So good luck to you. Good luck on your tests and quizzes and let me know how it goes. All right, let me know how you're doing. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.